Okay, we're going to ask our final question, and it has to do with the um, evolution of math in schools. So the question is, how has media and technology impacted math as a core subject in the elementary school? And what type of challenges did the technologies present to traditional learning? Well, you know, it's all good and everything. It's great. I love having technology. But when kids come to me in the seventh grade and they don't know their multiplication tables and they don't know how to divide, it, I think, this is my opinion, that the calculator has been introduced way too early because they don't even understand that it is a reciprocal operation, you know, of division and multiplication are inverse operations. They don't even get that because they're just pressing buttons on the calculator. They don't understand the whole number sense behind it. And when they don't know how to add, they don't even know the concept of a fraction because they've been able to add one fourth plus one half on the calculator. Mm -hmm. And they, it's, I think it's crippled them in some ways. So I think don't give them a calculator until they show the understanding of what the concept actually is. Absolutely. So you say your students that come next year, since you have that knowledge that they may be lacking foundation, is there anything that you anticipate on doing differently to maybe like reinforce that foundation? Oh, I have or? to constantly. Constantly. Mm -hmm. And we have to talk a lot about mental math. How do you find half of a number? I mean, if it's an odd number, sometimes my students cannot tell me half of 17. And it drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Without pulling out that calculator. Mm -hmm. That is their first instinct. Uh, I did a lesson. And it was just on um, what would you do, it's similar, it was with the percents and, and everything else, and they will automatically want to pull the calculator out and set up a proportion, because it's very easy when you have the calculator, and I said, if you're not allowed a calculator, oh, 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 and estimating doesn't even really come into their brains yet, because they, they, they've just been handed that calculator, so they don't make about that. I am making the same them thing. show me three different ways, like on the That's exactly what I did. I'll say, okay, we need to do it the multiplying way. This is how we would do it on, we had a calculator. Let's do some mental math. If you were trying to find 25% off of a price, let's do 10%, 10%, and 5%, and let's get that number, you know, and then we do like a model of, you know, if we have two towers and we have 0% and 100%, and then we have $0 and $60, we're trying to find that. We do as a model as well. So I'm showing them three different ways. There's but one thing I will do differently because when I went, when I did this lesson, I had already taught about proportions and ratios and everything. I will introduce it starting with this mm -hmm. that, that she's just yeah, discussing really about the large. Nicely. Just because when I went back and I was trying to get them to understand this, they just, well, proportion, just set up a proportion. It's so much easier. But they're still not getting the concept behind it. So next year, that's one thing I will change. Yeah. So it sounds like um, you rely really heavily on discussing mental math, and that really helps the students. Oh. Well, Yes. Trying. <laughs> We're trying. trying. <laughs> so, all in all, you would say that the use of calculators being introduced too early has definitely impacted math as a core subject, and that it also provides, it, it's more of a challenge than See, it look, is an aid. A calculator should be used once they under, understand what the concept is. I mean, you can take them so much further using the calculator, and that, you know, once they know how to do long division, I don't say just give it to them just for the sake of practicing long division, yeah. you know? But if they don't even know, like mine will say all the time, um, if you want to take 60 and divide it by 12, they say 12 divided by 60. They mm -hmm. say it backwards mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, that's that's we're not going to get it, you know. We're not going to do it that way. That's going to give you a decimal, you know. But they still, they don't get it because they've always watched the calculator. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, stop.